Welcome back to Apoch Rising. We're gonna play this awesome game again because a lot of you wanted to see me raid the city of Kent to actually get my gear back from those players camping in the Sky Islands, whatever they build it. Sadly enough, I have to say, I actually got killed because they were actually using God Mode. They jumped off their platform onto the ground, they jumped off buildings on the ground without even flinching or even doing anything. I actually pumped around five or six shotgun shots in one of them. Danger close, I saw the blood coming off face and he didn't die at all so I was sadly enough to say they were using god mode I think I'm not completely sure yet if they did but I heard that's still an issue in the game so hopefully in this new server we are not gonna meet any people that have god mode or anything like that so lucky enough we actually already found a little bit of a decent drop over here so we're gonna drop all our macro of magazines right now just because, you know, we, we, we could always pick up my favorite pistol right now. Because the Model 24 is actually a really good pistol to actually use in the game. Because it's not super loud. It's really steady. It does a really good job and all that kind of stuff. So I would recommend getting it if you find it. Because it's just a really steady hand pistol. Probably there are better hand... And oh my god. What? How? I'm not supposed to find this. I'm not supposed to find this. I know... But I'm not supposed to fight an AK-40... Oh my god, I find the best gear in the world. I don't know how I do it every time, but every time I sometimes am just so lucky to have so good gear so easily in the game. And you can see it is the case again. So we're gonna pick up the magazines, a little bit of food, and I'm probably gonna go in this building really quickly because I wanna equip my... Uh, my skins, weapon skins, uh, apply, primary, apply, secondary. There we go. So, a red gun and a red gun again. So, we have a little bit of a camo going on over here. We got a blue pants, we got a watch that we already have. So, why did I pick it up? I don't know. It's because we can. <laughs> So, I think we are probably really lucky with this. I'm probably the luckiest player currently in the game, in this server at least. Please tell me, what was your luckiest find in the game? What was the best thing you found in the game at one place or on a dead body randomly found in the middle of nowhere? Like, sometimes you just find this good gear like I did, like this AK-47. Yeah, this is the AK-47U, right? It should be the AK-47U. Yes, indeed. It's a really good gun. It's really small. It's pretty easy to use. So, uh... Yeah, let's wear. Drop. Where? Drop. There we go. We are a little bit more geared out. We could actually still use uh, a little bit of a shirt. Oh, that's some C4. Probably not gonna pick it up because I don't really think C4 is anything that would work with me. Like, I understand C4 is a lot of fun, but we certainly enough don't have a detonator. I don't know if you actually need a detonator or anything like that. Let's just, just try it out. So, we're gonna eat this. Let's try to blow up the church, I guess. Deploy. So we don't have a detonator, so if we would ever find a detonator, we could probably blow up this church, but I doubt we're gonna add anything like that anytime soon. So we're gonna pick up the beef jerky. And I think that is good enough for the gear right now. So we got an AK-47U and yeah, we're just gonna do, you know, our best. And I have a little bit of an itchy nose, so that basically means something is gonna happen. Maybe we're gonna be more lucky, like a car, or we're gonna get killed. Like, when my nose gets really itchy, everybody knows that, but uh, daily watches my channel and all that kind of stuff. Something bad is gonna happen, and I can see one, two personnel over there. They're going to... Let's see. They don't really seem to be noticing me yet, so we are just gonna charge over towards this side. We're gonna take a little bit of a detour, and we should probably watch out a little bit and, you know, all that kind of stuff. So, if we stick to the side, we probably will meet anybody soon. Maybe we'll even meet somebody inside here. Or we take the outside road, because somebody actually died. They may be gonna try to loot him. And now we're gonna take the inside road. Like, the inside road is probably gonna be a little bit more easy. Also, shout out to Please Go Keys one for watching and joining me into the game. Hope you have a great time, and I hope you enjoy. So, yeah. So here we go, here we go. So here we go. We're gonna deny a party a quest because we really do not do that. So somebody has died over here, so we have to watch. Okay, 
There we go, we got some personnel over there. So, if we're gonna be smart, we're gonna push it from this side over here. Because once we actually try to push it from this wall, they're probably gonna try to push us as well. So we're gonna do a little bit of third-person walling because everybody does that these days. Like, that's, that, uh, that's what the cool kids do. So give them a few seconds. There we go. Ah, almost had him. There we go, one down. I know he has a buddy somewhere. So, I'm first gonna check out the town before I'm actually even gonna try to check out his body. I don't really think he actually had any gear or anything like that, so... Like, I wonder, because there's also a dead body over there uh, further on, and he actually looked like the person who was stalking him for quite some time. So it seems like it's quite quiet around here. Uh, yeah, we can accept your party, man, because I trust you. I know that you're not gonna betray me, I hope. I at least hope you don't. It's not a bad gun. I'm gonna see four. I don't know. I don't know. I'm gonna keep this gear though. I heard those gunshots, so we're gonna drink, uh, drink and eat. And two people just died from my right side. Three people just died, and I actually heard a little bit of gunshots from that area over there. And so far, no. So far, somebody asked, are there any hackers? So far, no. Didn't notice any. Oh, hi there. Are we even hitting him from this range? I think I killed him. I think I killed him. I'm not sure because I didn't really notice the notification of somebody dying. So that's a little bit of a question. Didn't really seem to have any gear, so he's not... Oh, we're gonna check him anyway. There we go. Oh, they were at the mansion. Mansion. I heard gunshots from that area over there. So it's always worth it to keep your volume quite high in this game because that's actually one of the tips I would give everybody. Oh. Ah, interesting indeed. That's quite interesting. Maybe we can. Uh... I think. I think we can maybe get a little bit of uh, goodies from that car. If we are the one that actually steals it from him or kills him. Because, you know, getting a car is always great. And unless he puts a mine underneath it and, you know, arms it and takes it up again once we actually drive away. I don't know if that's a thing, though. I actually still don't know if that's actually still a thing or anything like that. So, we are gonna take it a little bit smooth and calm. So, one of the buildings got destroyed over there. One of the... Things... That got destroyed. Okay. So, let's listen to a little bit of sound so if we can maybe hear a couple of gunshots or footsteps. Because those are always really, 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 really good. I heard a car. Oh, we got two blood bags. It's more than enough. We really do not need more blood bags, I think. Like, having two blood bags would probably be good. Please tell me as well how many you should have on you. Because I think having two blood bags and, you know, enough magazines and all that kind of stuff is always really, really smooth. Like, well, I don't know why I said smooth, because it's, it's just, it's okay. Just deal with it. Ooh. I wonder where that car went. I didn't see it go up the hill to my left. So I assume he is still inside? Or he left like I am going. But we know there are a couple of people in the mansion area. So if we actually find the mansion in time, we can maybe go over there and have a little bit of a fun party over there. But right now I'm really satisfied with the gear I currently have. I'm not really against finding a good gun this early on because it's just a lot of luck 
Like, there's just a lot of luck. So we're gonna check the area a little bit, like, if we can find anything. I don't really see any targets. Maybe the prison will hold some people for us, because most of the times people like to go to the prison, and as the radio tower, as you saw in the first part, and maybe the camp over there, that's also a really popular location for people. But somewhere the Humphy went, and I think we have to watch out for the Humphy, because people most of the times, I notice people in the Humphy have okay gear. Let's check it out. Completely picked clean. That player. Hold on. Maybe it's gonna be a lucky day that we actually find somebody inside here. Radio tower got demolished. Very around there. I still remember this map quite good enough. Not super good, sadly enough, but I still remember it a little bit in the way that I know my way around and all that kind of stuff. So that's quite good, of course. And, you know, we should just watch out now. Oh, because we're going to close combat. I don't want to be picked out. They look everywhere. I don't want that. No, don't hear anything. Should be clear. Ish. But you never know when it's clear. Like, zombies don't really spawn that much, sadly enough. Over there, over there, over there. You see? See? Probably. We should probably wait for this dude. He has some gear. Come on, don't pick out, don't pick out, don't pick out. Perfect. I got some gunshots from my back as well, so I have to watch out for that. Not rip him. There we go, we got the kill, we got the kill, we got the kill. Ooh, that was nice. The aim was decent-ish. I could have, uh, well, I actually did some decent taps on that. So we're gonna check out his body right now because we didn't really see anybody else pushing on towards us in the distance. So we should be fine just to pick it up. Let's see. Uh, he has more magazines, but I really don't like that weapon. But a little bit of a bigger backpack, maybe. That's the same bag, wow. GG me, GG me. Um, ooh, C4 detonator. Don't mind if I do. Wait, we can pick that up. How much room do we need for that? Too much. Oh, oh wait, the wrong mouse button, maybe. Oh, okay, we can pick that up. Well, I don't care. Uh, maybe I know how, maybe you can pick it up, but I'm just being a noob. And, you know, everybody's probably yelling at me. Saying, oh my god, you had one job and you're doing it wrong. Stop doing it wrong. I know, I know. <laughs> uh, take this drink, take this food. I'm gonna go back towards that town over there. And I'm not gonna pick up this big gun. Because I really don't like the inaccuracy of that gun. Like, it's a decent gun. Don't take me wrong for close spraying combat. And all that kind of ways. But right now, I think I am doing a really good job on actually looting people. And I saw some weird equipment over here. That's why I was basically looking over there. I know that's a radio. I'm not gonna pick it up because of copyright music. And... Whew, that's gonna be a question. I think I should not switch out because I have medium range. I can always check it out. Actually, it's a good sniper, so we are gonna switch it out. Oh no. He has to respond? What was that? There we go. You, sir, had a lucky respawn. Lucky respawn.
I heard footsteps. That was a really lucky respawn, man. If you were the same person twice. Oh, you costed me some bullets. And I don't appreciate that. So keep it that way and stay dead. There you go. But anyway, guys, if you want to see more next time, be sure you smash the like button. Because, you know, that's always really good. So please say it with me. One, two, three. Peace out. Yeah.